Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I think I want to make this a series on my channel and what I'm calling the series is going to be vanity diving. So like dumpster diving. That's where I got like the term vanity diving from. Um, I'm not picking out of the trash to use makeup, but what I am going to be doing is diving into my vanity and picking palettes that I haven't used in a while, that are older, that are not as new, not as current, and kind of testing them out again, seeing if I like them and if I should keep them or get rid of them in my next declutter. So this is a way for me to show you older products, but it's also showing me if I actually still like them or not. So hopefully this video goes good. The first palette that I picked was the Naked 2. Obviously this is not a new palette. It came out years upon years ago. This was actually my first Naked palette I ever purchased. And uh, yeah, I'm not huge into cool tones, so I don't know why I particularly chose this one, but I did. So today we're going to be playing with the Naked 2. But yeah, why don't we just get started? Okay, so we're all zoomed in. We're all good. So if you're not familiar what the inside of the Naked 2 looks like, it looks like that. So yes, very, very cool toned, except for like a couple shades that I feel like are not. So I'm just going to set my eyelid with Foxy, which is that first color. So nothing revolutionary here. Just setting my concealer that I put on my lid. For the crease, I really don't have, you know, much of a choice. I'm gonna use Tease, which is that really cool toned, I guess it's a cool toned brown, but kind of looks like a mauve to me. Uh, just like a dusty, cool color. I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and running it in my crease. Now, this palette has mostly shimmers which is not the best uh for me at least i don't use like more shimmers than mattes in my eye looks so for me it was always hard to use this palette just because yeah i didn't know what to do with all those shimmers and i feel like these shimmers in this palette don't necessarily go great in your crease if you were to use them like i don't know i just i never got it to work for me so we're not going to be doing that um but we're going we're going to try we're going to try the whole point of this series i just really want to be able to show you guys more videos um without constantly having to get the next best palette and also these videos will help me in deciding whether i actually still like these palettes or not. Yep, that's just my reasoning behind that. And I'm sorry if the lighting's bad. It's going to be raining for the next two days, so I don't really have a choice about when to film. Okay, so I ended up building up that color quite a bit because, like I said, there's not a lot of matte options in this, so I kind of just want to get some more extra definition. So I'm going to try and take Snake Bite on another fluffy brush. This one's actually kind of pinched. This one's actually kind of pinched, like right there. So maybe we'll get to get some more definition in the crease. Hopefully this color works there. Yeah, so I could just never figure out what I wanted to do with this palette when I was creating like different, different eye looks because I need those mattes and this just, a, it just don't have it. <laughs> I'm going to place it in kind of the outer V area. So I'm just keeping it in the outer corner, but then dragging some of it into the outer crease. I 
I'm not getting any fallout. So that's really good. Because that's another thing with using shimmers, especially when you're really blending them. Um, the like, you know, shimmers in the shimmery colors can tend to fold on your face. I mean, even when you put it on your lid, they can. So definitely when you're blending it and you're, you know, on your eye, it's going to be, it's going to be a test, you know? Do I want to make this a halo? Yeah, I think I'm going to take that same shade. I'm just going to take that a bit on this brush and put it in the inner part of my eye. And then just taking a little bit and going in the entire upper crease right here. And I have hooded eyes, so looking down can sometimes not be good for people who have hooded eyes. Because then you might not be getting the color above your hood. So it doesn't look like the colors are connecting. So if I were to look straight on... I would need to put that color a little bit higher. Then I'm gonna take that same brush and build up the outer corner. So it's more deeper in the outer corner. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. That doesn't look terrible. I don't know how this looks gonna go, but so far, so good. Now I want to focus more on a lot of the cooler shades in this palette. So like the first four colors are a little bit more warm to me. So I'm going to keep going further down the palette. And I don't know if I want to use Suspect or Verve or y YDK. I think I'm going to go with YDK. And I'm just going to use... A flat shader pretty standard and we're gonna put that in the middle of the eye um, not going too far in or too far outward so I really packed that on my brush you could also cut um, the crease and also put it in the center of your lid with some concealer for a halo eye I just find that's a, a little bit too much work for me um, I do do it sometimes, but most most times than not, I don't. So we're just going to skip that step for today. So, and this is a dry brush. And I remember um, the Urban Decay Metallics, especially in the older palettes, like the first two or three naked palettes, um, that the metallics were not like super like reflective, like... A lot of palettes tend to have in them now. You know, some days you don't want to look all blinged out, so. So I just keep dipping back in and building this shimmer up. Because I want the middle to still pop, but I'm not necessarily wanting it to pop as much as, like, concealer under it would. So. Or even a wet brush, you know, which I, I do do more of that than I do like the concealer on the lid, but that's either here nor there. So I think that looks pretty good. Yes? No? Maybe? I think what I'm also going to do is take Verve on the opposite side of that flat eyeshadow brush and pick up some of that and place this on the very very center of my eyelid to give it a little bit more depth a little bit more of a pop now I'm gonna do those steps on my other eye and I will be right back so we can move on to the lower lash line okay so I think I got that pretty even now I'm going to take that color tease again on like a little fluffy brush and run that on my lower lash line And then I'm going to take a small 
like really small detail pencil brush and that shade we used earlier, Snake Bite. And I'm gonna put that on the lower outer third. Really paying attention to the corner the most. And for my inner corner, I'm going to take a small, like very small, um, flat definer. And I'm going to use the shade Booty Call. So just popping that on my inner corner to tie everything in. And just give us some brightness right in there. So I feel like this looks pretty, pretty deep, you know, so... It's always important to bring like the life back into your look, you know. Now I'm going to do mascara and a lippy and I'll be right back. Alright, so here is the finished look. I used my Kush mascara from Milk Makeup and I used a ColourPop Luxe lipstick in the shade Still Crazy. So this is how it turned out. I actually really like it. Uh, for someone who doesn't like cool tones a lot, I think this look came out pretty good. So yeah, that's gonna do it for my first vanity diving session. Did you enjoy this type of video? If you did, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and give it a like as well if you did enjoy it. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and I will talk to you real soon. Bye.